There are a couple of different ways to get form information into Tax 1099. One is to use one of our imports, whether that's in Excel or through one of our partners like Bill.com or QuickBooks or Xero. Another way you can do it is to add the form information manually. I'm going to show you how to do that here. You can either go to Forms and New Form to start the process, or you can click Start New Filing. Either one will take you to the same page, which is our new form page. You can file the form for this year, or you can go backwards and file for a prior year if you need to do that. I'm going to file for our 2017-1099 miscellaneous because that's the most common form that people file. However, you may be filing for a different type of form, and they're all listed here. The first time that I go through the process to create a form, I can add my payer. My payer is the company that did the payments and is needing to submit this form. That could be a business with an EIN, or it could be an individual with an SSN. And then I'd fill out the rest of the information as applicable. One thing to note, a payer will always require a phone number that the recipient can contact in case they need to speak with someone who's knowledgeable about that form. That's an IRS requirement. The next time that I come in and do a form, I'll already have my payer or payers listed here. So I'm going to pick a payer that I've already got listed. When I have a payer that I've used in the past, I'll have the recipients that I've used in the past with that uh, payer as well. Or I can add a recipient by doing the same type of function as I did when I clicked on Add Payer. I can choose a business with an EIN or an individual who has an SSN. And I can type in all the information that I need there. In this situation, I'm going to pick from one of my existing recipients. Maybe I paid this person last year, and I paid them again this year. And so I need to pay them here and create a form for them in Tax 1099. Whatever my box amount is, I would simply put that information in the appropriate box area. Often that's box 7 for non-employee compensation, but you may have paid rents, or you may have paid royalties, or other income, any of the other boxes that are listed here as well. If I paid this person $1,500, and I would put $1,500 into the box 7 amount area there, we also file to all the states. Uh, if we needed to, if this person's state did not participate in the combined federal state filing program, I mean, if they were, say, in Pennsylvania or Oregon, uh, then I might get a pop-up message that would say, uh, do you want to file to the state for this person? And I would be able to say yes, and I'd continue with the filing for that person. Colorado participates in that combined federal state filing, so I don't need to do anything additional to file to the state. If I have more forms, I can click Save and Add New 1099 Miscellaneous. Or, if I'm ready to check out, I could click Save and Continue. By the way, I also want to mention while I'm on this page, up at the very top, there is a corrected option. If I needed to file this as a corrected form, then I just check that box up at the top, and the IRS will read it as a corrected form filing, and that will uh, supersede any of the other forms that you might have filed for the same person for the same year under this payer. In this case, it's just a regular form, so I'm going to deselect that option. And let's say that I'm done with all my form filing. I'm going to click Save and Continue. It's going to take me to my Submit Forms page. And on my Submit Forms page, I'm able to go through and select all of these various items that I might need to do. You can see I've filed multiple forms, or I've created, rather, multiple forms for this particular individual uh, in this situation. And I've done many of those uh, for the other people in this company as well. We have a separate video that goes through all the options on this page. So if you'd like to learn more about that, you can choose that video. Uh, but basically, you're just choosing here to e-file, to set the schedule date, to have us do the mailing or emailing, and then you pay tax 1099 at the end of this process.